Hey everybody, I'm FruitBats, and this is FTL, Faster Than Light. FTL is a fun little roguelike game where we assume the role of a plucky crew of a Federation starship that's being pursued by the Rebel fleet. They chase us across eight sectors of space until we face off against the Rebel flagship, and when we destroy the Rebel flagship, we win the game. Now, this being a roguelike game, uh, it's, it's, it's random what weapons we might encounter, what augmentations we might get, and what encounters we have. We're also given a huge list of ships to play with. You can see we've got a bunch here. We've got Type B, Type C, lots of ships. Except we've got one that's not unlocked. This unidentified cruiser is the Crystal Cruiser, and one of the ways to unlock it is to complete the game with all of the ships, both Type A and Type B. So if you beat the game 16 times with 16 different ships, you get to start using this awesome Crystal Cruiser. Now, I've beaten the game 15 times with 15 different ships. The one I haven't beaten the game yet is this one right here, Mantis Cruiser Type A, or the Gila Monster, as it's called. That's actually how you pronounce it, apparently. Gila Monster. Anyway, this is a Mantis ship. It is a, a fully aggressive one. It's built around the idea of boarding. We use our Mantis crew members who are stronger in combat and our teleporter here to teleport aboard enemy vessels and take them over from the inside. I'm not very good at that mechanic, which is potentially why I have some difficulty with this ship. But all we need to do is complete the game with this ship and we will unlock the Crystal Cruiser. So I thought, hey, that would be fun. Let's do that. So we're doing that with our crew here. We've, of course, got our captain, uh, Captain, uh, Captain Aphid. Graduated very young from the academy, but, you know, very able, able starship captain. We've got our boarders, of course. They are, uh, they're twins. Twin brothers, actually. The older brother, uh, the older brother Bumble, not Bumbler, Bumble, he, uh, he, he knows a variety of types of space martial arts. He's very, very talented. The younger brother, uh, 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 Junebug. What Junebug lacks in technique, he makes up for in sheer strength. And of course, we've got our, uh, necessary Engie engineer here by the name of Joel. Joel the engineer. Alright, let's give it a shot. Let's see how we do. All right, so all of the encounters here are going to be random. Our weapons and augmentation is going to be random. So we're going to hope that we pick up a good assortment of things to not only get us through the next eight sectors, but also against the flagship as well. So let's keep our fingers crossed. First, let's move people around. So I want Bumble and Junebug to be ready to go in the teleporters. Let's get Joel into engines. Aphid staying in the pilot's area, of course. We'll save those positions. Uh, let's power up the engines. I might want the S-bomb, but I'll depower the med bay when I want that. All right, let's jump away. Hmm. So this looks pretty good. I'd like to go through the nebula here. Going through a nebula slows down the pursuing fleet, so let's do that. Oh! All right, well, we're being boarded immediately. I have no idea who's coming aboard, and we've got no sensors, and they wouldn't work anyway since we're in a nebula. Thankfully, we've got Bumble and Junebug. Uh, let's all get into engines. Okay, they're down in shields. Let's go to shields. Go to shields. Oh, there's only three of them. We should be fine. All right, and you know what? Help out, Joel. Joel will shoot some lasers. Take him down! Oh! Alright, our Mantis crew just too powerful. Repair the shields there. Med bay's online. Alright, let's get... Let's get all the Mantis to the med bay. Joel, you'll go back to engineering. Sustain some damage there, but that's actually not a bad thing. We got some experience points in fighting. Not very much. Junebug got the most, of course. Junebug always pulling the most weight. Alright, not bad. Ooh, a store! Haven't had the opportunity to pick up any scrap yet. <sighs> hmm. I would have to go to the store right now. Alright, let's... No, you know what? Let's skip the store. There's nothing I could want to buy right now. 
not for 30 scrap, selling the mantis pheromones that are one of the stock augmentations that we start with, not worth it. Uh-oh, someone's in need of assistance. Yeah, let's offer our assistance, for sure. Ooh, they want to help scan the planet. Well, given that I don't have sensors, I imagine I'm not going to be successful here. Yeah, no more powerful than the terraformers. Yep, all right. Not much help there. Let's hide back in the nebula. Not off to an amazing start here in Sector 1. Oh, and now this is an automated scout, so we can't even board this one. They've got drones, they've got weapons, they've got shields. This is bad for us. Oh, and they're going to jump away. All right, so we've got a lot on our plate here. Okay, thankfully they've got a beam drone and a beam weapon, so they're not going to penetrate my shields at all. So let's get uh, medbay offline. We'll get our S-bombs online. We need to bring their shields offline. And then use our basic laser to bring their piloting offline so that they can't jump away. So let's hope we don't miss any shots here. In fact, yeah, let's get Junebug into weapons so that he can help out with that. Okay, that was successful. Get the laser now targeted on piloting. Let's get auto-targeting on. They're not going to be able to breach our shields with their beam weapons. Excellent. FTL now delayed. We'll keep firing shots there, and we will be fine. We'll get out of here just fine. It'll take a little while for us to breach this, though. Probably just speed up the action. All right. There we go. Feel relief knowing we will hopefully still be one step ahead of the fleet. Of course we will be. Pick up three fuel, one drone part, and 11 scrap. Spectacular. There's our first pickup of scrap. We need some. Store still not worth it. Let's just keep jumping ahead. We'll find better stuff. Ooh, yeah, no. No thank you. No thank you, pirate. We reject your offer. Junebug, you are not in the teleportation area like you should be. Get over there. We need you to teleport aboard. Get over there! Alright. Let's go into their shields. One human crew member, that's good. Looks like that might be a rock? No, it's another human. Alright, we'll be fine here. We'll take this right over. Oh, there's another door opening. They've got another crew member. It's a mantis. Alright, we need to get Bumble out of there. And then back in. Did a little bit of a dance so that Junebug started taking the damage, and we are fine. All right, no life signs aboard the ship. Other than Bumble and Junebug, of course. Strip the useful materials. Excellent. Let's return. Back to the med bay. Power that back up. All right, 65 scrap. We've done a lot of jumps so far and haven't picked up a lot of useful stuff. Picking? Is that a word? We haven't picked up a lot of useful stuff. Alright, let's jump. Hmm. I want to at least get a visual on what these two are. If one of them is a store, I might stop at a store now. Ooh, slavers! Alright, well, I'm definitely not sending one of my crew members over to the slavers. Uh, hopefully, I can find one aboard the ship. If I board them and destroy the slave owners, I'm thinking maybe I could persuade one of them to join my side. So let's give this a shot. We will never send or surrender one of our crew. However, we will send two of our crew over willingly. To destroy you? Oh, and Engie, even better. Engies can't fight at all. We'll destroy them in their very own captain's quarters. Ooh, they did stun my teleporter, though. I'm not going to be able to return. All right, easy. Excellent, all right. Apparently, I don't want to force them all to work for me. I kind of do. We're under threat of death, but okay. Mantis, Rockman, or Angie. Well, we've already got a Mantis and an Angie aboard our ship, and I like variety. It gives us more options for the blue text in the quests later on. So I'll take the Rockman. They're also really good at taking out fire. Oh, Ken! We've got Ken and Joel aboard. Interesting. All right. And I'm actually going to have Ken man the shields, since we're not using very many weapons right now, since Bumble and Junebug are doing most of the attacking. 
We'll have them guard shields. All right. Not having to use much weapons, so I think this is good. Let's jump. All right, nothing interesting here, so let's start heading back this way. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I've got a path I could take here. We'll go back a little bit and then back around. We want to try to hit as many points as we can. Hmm, mercenaries. I don't have the scrap to spend, and I don't really... <sighs> Scouting the sector could be helpful, though. Yeah, you know what? That's worth it. I'm going to have him scout the sector. This way, I've got visual on everything. Okay, so I know exactly where to go. See, I was going to come this way, and that was going to be useless. Now I can come around this way instead. Hmm. I hope I can hit all these points. This might be too many points. A forward scout of the rebel fleet. Oh, and he's going to jump away. That's bad. That's bad. We do not want to deal with people jumping away when we're using teleporters. So let's get over there and hope we could beat the entire crew in one teleportation. Otherwise, it's a problem. He's also got a laser drone and a beam weapon. So if this takes down my shields, we're in trouble. Uh, anything I want to take down? You know what? Let's teleport to engines instead. Let's power down medbay, power up S-bomb. I'm going to send a small bomb into their piloting that it uh, reduces their chances of being able to pilot away. And you know what? Let's not teleport into engineering. Let's teleport into drones so that I can take that down, potentially. All right, here we go. All right, looks like there's probably three people aboard. Uh, I hope the shields are up when that beam weapon fires. Yes! Excellent. All right, good. That also injured the pilot, so we're in good shape now. Let's go in and take him out. Uh, get him. Whew, that was close. Ship goes silent. Alright. Still one step ahead of the fleet, and we got good scrap. Good job, boys. Are they close to leveling up yet? Somewhat. Oh, gotta power that up. Whoops. Taking out a lot of rebel ships in this sector. Doing a reasonable job, though. Alright. Let's jump. One, two, three, four, five. Do I think I could get five before that comes? No, there's no way. I'm gonna have to skip this one. One, four I could probably do. This is probably a fake distress beacon, though, right? Because that's why... Hmm. All right, I'm going to head to the Distress Beacon anyway. Ah, oh, splendid. I don't want to fight automated ships because I can't board them. And this is an automated ship with a missile launcher on it, so that's a problem. So I'll use my teleporter to help me out here. We'll beam directly onto the station. Excellent. Now, unfortunately, what that gave me was just information about everything in the sector, and I already have that, so that was not helpful at all. But at least we didn't have anything bad happen. Ooh, okay. Sure. Oh, no. Unless he wants to jump one space away, I'm probably not going to be able to complete this quest. We're going to get 11 scrap out of him, but I don't think I'm going to be able to lead him to his destiny. Excellent! So lucky. That is so lucky. I guess the only other place it could have been is this, because it can't be somewhere I visited already, and these already have stuff there. Very lucky for me, though. All right. We'll take him to his destination. Hey, and he upgraded my reactor by one. Excellent. Now I can keep the S-bomb online at all times. And then we'll jump to the exit. All right, cool. Ooh, we got a trade here. Looking for some military supplies, offering to improve my reactor. Two drone parts. I'm not using any drone parts yet. Three missiles. Missiles could be important for me, but I've got a lot. And improving my reactor is pretty impactful. So, yeah, I'll agree to that trade. Our reactor is now upgraded by one. I think it might be time to do some ship upgrades. I would really like to get my shields up. 
by improving my shields, it'll give me a lot more time for Bumble and Junebug to do work aboard the enemy ships. So let's upgrade our shields. Uh, our upgrader is also already upgraded one, but we need one more, so we'll take one more there. I've got the parts to do engines as well. Maybe I should do that. I also want to get my teleporter up. All right, let's do engines. While we're doing this, let's let's go all the way. All right. So now we've got a second layer of shields. Our evade has gone up to 25%. Gila Munster has been upgraded substantially. Bumble and Junebug getting good experience. Uh, Aphid and Joel, I guess, working together really well. Ken, a little bit of experience in shields. He's a, a newer recruit, but I would say this was a pretty successful first sector. What do we have next? Ooh, a civilian sector or a pirate-controlled sector. Depends if we want more combat-oriented or more uh, peaceful-oriented encounters. Which one will I pick? I don't know. We'll find out next time! Thanks for joining me on Episode 1 of FTL. Will we make it all the way to Sector 8? We'll find out. We're part of the way there. We're one-eighth of the way there. We'll keep chugging along. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.